Hey everyone, and welcome to CEOs You Should Know. I'm Layla Muhammad, and joining me is the CEO of GoodRx, Doug Hirsch. He is based in Santa Monica. Doug, it is a pleasure to meet you, and thank you for making time for us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So, for folks who don't know, tell them how this process works with GoodRx. Sure. I mean, GoodRx is uh, really just uh, the result of me being a frustrated consumer way back in 2010, where I walked into a pharmacy and they said it'd be $500. You know, and I had insurance at the time. And, and the, the reality is, is that pharmacies have very little control over their prices because of these really complicated contracts with insurance companies and things. And, and basically, we just went out to pharmacies and said, is there a way we can do better? And so we basically make it so easy. A consumer comes in, they type in the first few letters of a drug. They can see the current prices of these drugs without insurance, which are often lower than those insurance co-pays. And then if you see a price you'd like, you can present a coupon at the pharmacy and you can pay just that price. There's no paperwork, no approvals. It's, it's pretty simple. And we designed it to be that way. We want you to be able to take control of your care. I love that it grew out of a personal experience you had with paying for a prescription drug. And so did you see it, you know, looking back 10 years ago, did you see it? where it is now being as big as it is with all of the, the major retailers you have involved? Never did. Never did. I mean, you know, I, I'm not a healthcare lifer. I, I worked at uh, Facebook and Yahoo before that. And I just saw a problem, you know, like I, I just thought to myself, like, this is crazy. I mean, myself and everybody else who gets a bill for $500, you walk out of the pharmacy, you don't actually fulfill that drug, which is not good for you. It's not good for the system. It's not good for the emergency room you end up in. You know, it, it just creates this cascade of problems. And um, so I just thought like, there must be a better way to educate people. We do it for everything else, right? Do you buy a plane ticket by just calling, you know, a certain airline? No, you go online and you do your homework and you do the same thing for TVs or mortgages or whatever. And yet healthcare is a, a mystery to all of us, which means we just don't consume it. And that's just, that's, that's been my driving force for over a decade now, which is just trying to give people the tools so they can be a smarter consumer. Have you heard people say when they're first learning about your company, what's the catch? Because you're saving me money as the consumer. How are you then making your money? So how do you respond to that? Yeah, I mean, it, there isn't really a catch. We list any price that we can get our hands on. So if a pharmacy is saying, we'll just make these drugs really cheap and we'll ignore insurance, great, we'll list those prices. If there's like a savings club that you can you know, find, great, we'll list those prices. You know, We're here to just drive you to a point where you can afford your care not just prescriptions, but we also do a telemedicine. We'll, we'll show you about labs and tests. We'll show you about all these other healthcare services that again, people just think they cost too much so they don't go in the first place or their insurance isn't covering it or they haven't hit their deductible. All these complicated words that just result in people not doing the right thing. So in terms of how we make our money, we, we have a product called GoodRx Gold where you pay us about six bucks a month and in return you get even lower prices because certain pharmacies have said we want that business. And we get referral fees and we have some advertising on the site, but we will always first and foremost be honest with the consumer about showing them the best price for them and you know, letting them know when there's an ad that's gonna show up that, that they might be interested in. I'm wondering how this time that we're in the pandemic, how that has impacted your business. How have you been able to step in and fill a void uh, for folks who may be without insurance or, or may not have the, the deductible that they have to pay for their medicines? Yeah, the, it's been it's been a, a wild ride, this this uh, pandemic. I mean, first and foremost, obviously a tragedy, right? And, and, and a healthcare crisis for this country on top of the crisis that we already had around the cost of care. Um, you know, it's been harder for people to get to the doctor. It's been harder for people to get to the pharmacy. You haven't felt comfortable or safe going to those places. So we had the fortune, we actually acquired a company a few years ago that does telemedicine. So now you can actually go online, talk to a doctor for a small amount of money, like 20 to 50 bucks, and then get a prescription if necessary and even have it mailed to you. So you, don't, you can avoid all those pain points and still find pricing that is affordable and like the average coping for a consumer. And so we really have tried to focus on what, how can we fix the problems that this pandemic has caused and still give people access to the care that they need in a way that feels safe. And look, I, I want people to go back to their doctors and I want people to go back to their pharmacy and they are starting to hopefully as vaccines roll out. But in the meantime, we're gonna really just focus on presenting healthcare in an affordable and way that you can access now um, and you know, just be there for people in whatever capacity we can. Now, before you founded your company, you were in the early stages of, of Yahoo and Facebook. How did those experiences prepare you for what you're doing now as a CEO? I just love solving messy problems, you know, I, 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 and, and impacting people's lives. And, you know, when I was at Yahoo, this was a long time ago, obviously. And, and it was really like this idea of bringing people together using the internet was just something that lit me up. You know, the idea of like being able to take people who had never met and then put people together, um, you know, was, was just so redeeming to me. And then when I went to Facebook, which was a long time ago, not the Facebook we know today, 
it was just again like oh my god look at how we can bring people together my i actually was one of the people that invented facebook photo tagging so you could actually tag someone in a photo and that was just driven by like no, how cool would it be <laughs> it was how cool would it be if you know i could collect all the photos of myself or my loved ones into one place um and so i've just always been in love with using technology to bring people together and to accomplish you know, fix problems that the world has and, and no bigger problem than the state of healthcare in this country. And so um, I feel the same joy that I got from those early days of Facebook at Yahoo year, just because I, I feel like I'm making a difference. And, and that's, I don't know, I'm at the age now where I just want to be able to go home and hold my head high and talk to my kids about what I do for a living. And, and I, I'm very proud of what we, what we built. Well, Doug Hirsch, it has been an honor meeting you. You are definitely a CEO we should know, and we thank you for sharing your story and inspiring us. Thank you so much.